Hello Megalithomaniacs and welcome to the megalithic city of Tarragona, just south of Barcelona in Spain. But the thing is, although this is a Roman town officially, a much earlier megalithic culture existed here and built remarkable cyclopean walls. Now it's Richard Cassaro, I must give him credit, who introduced me to this site, told me all about it, because all around this town we have these megalithic platforms, this lower level covering the whole city with a later Roman construction on top. Now it was thought to be built by what they call the Iberians but more likely it was an earlier Bronze Age or Neolithic megalithic civilization of the Mediterranean like we find in Italy, Greece and other places. So you can just see that these are kind of the lowest level here. So we'll have a quick look up here first and this is kind of where this section stops. You can see the later walls that have been added. But these ones here are very impressive. And just look, you know, these are just cyclopean megalithic blocks. Now this is what's so interesting, I did not know. You had such structures here in Spain that go back possibly to the same time as the Bronze Age or Neolithic sites in Italy and Greece. But look at this, look at the size of this. That is, what, 15 feet wide. Absolutely incredible. Same with these ones here. So more examples just facing the coast, as you can see here, of megalithic construction, megalithic foundations on the outer walls of the ancient town of Tarraco or Tarragona. But look at these, these are just got like little <laughs> apartments built on top of them as well. You get a sense of the scale. There's the giant doorway. That is very impressive. People are living right above it as well. And it goes all the way down the street there. Megalithic doorways with great big lintels going into the city. Actually going underground, steps down in some cases. Much like we find at sites like Alatri in Italy. So this one's locked but it just shows you the kind of doorway. Look at these, these huge blocks making a giant lintel and it's almost like going inside a megalithic chamber, like a giant's tomb on Sardinia because if you look inside, you can see it goes inwards like a long barrow or a giant's tomb. So I'm gonna get the camera in there and let's take a look. So you can see the roof there, huge blocks that make up the roof and then it goes all the way back there. Now it's kind of being blocked up now, but that would have once been something quite remarkable. And all the way down the side here as well, we have these giant blocks leading inwards. So this is a serious cyclopean structure and it's so similar to a latry. It reminds me of that, the same kind of style. So let's just come outside so you get a sense of scale of the actual doorway itself and the buildings above it. And look, you see the big stones <laughs> just coming out of the ground again. Look, so they're probably buried. There's probably a whole level beneath this. Look, you get the giant blocks. Amazing. Especially that one, look at that, oh my god. The one on the bottom there is probably 12 feet long. It's just like dolmens piled on top of each other. Look at this, all the way up. Incredible. So yeah, we just walked down the wall <laughs> even further and we found another one of these giant megalithic entrances, these gateways into the main part of the site. You can actually put the camera right through there quite easily. It's been blocked, but still the main part of it is left to see both sides. Let me just get over here a sec. You've got the giants. So these go way back. So these walls are probably 40 feet wide, 30 feet wide or something. Yeah, the carvings here, these could be later Roman carvings utilising the old blocks. 
just to find we found two of these gateways already and we must remember that this whole length of wall we started down that end and we then walked into town and came back out again actually it comes all the way from where we were at the first part of the wall all the way up here along the outer edge of the city You've got this thing here, just giant block, just like sticking out the ground, just like protruding. So that's where we were earlier down there, that's where we began, and this just continues up here. I can't believe this, just cannot believe this. Got a little mark of the builders here, maybe. What is this? It's an interesting section just here, it almost looks. Started to see little bits of like polygonal stonework as well. They were still very cyclopean as such, like rough hewn megalithic chunks. But there are pieces which look really neat and tidy. Not so much here, but this this wall here, which is neat and tidy, is clearly much later. Roman possibly. So we've got like a whole chunk of wall here, but look, we've actually got two sex two massive blocks here. This is really odd. So you've got a giant megalith up there. What the hell is that doing there? Maybe there's two there, one underneath it as well. Wow, so they must have lifted that up super high. You've got a couple of examples kind of lower down here, which have kind of been repurposed, maybe cut a little bit. But that one, that just shouldn't be there. And this as well. Look at this piece. Is this a block or is this later kind of cement or bedrock over here as well so you got like and up there just next but like beneath those bushes and in between those bushes look we have just turned this corner now we're heading kind of into the town we're just going to go up these steps because we have spotted more oh my goodness These are higher up. So this wall must have originally been extremely tall, possibly like 40 feet tall. Look at this. This is incredible. It's like a platform. Unbelievable. Then we have one of the blocks that's kind of out of the wall here. So this really does give you a sense of scale, doesn't it? If you look at these stones here. Now this is like the corner as of the town as it comes this way and then goes that way heading back kind of pretty much west into town look so you've got the back of the wall here so it proves it's extremely thick and it continues around here so we found the other we turned a corner and we see in both sides of the wall here this is like the back of the wall even when they're building here you can see like giant blocks just that have been moved out of the wall just in this building site. Is that a hole carved through it? For like a rope or something? Look at this. So look at that. Yeah, you saw something like that in Italy and here as well. So this is an extra bit that someone, maybe the Romans have added on, but look behind it. We were just on the other side of this wall, weren't we, around the back. Look at this. All this, look at that one. Oh my God. If you want a good example of a cyclopean block, this one's a good one. It's almost like a boulder, but it's actually got shaping on it, as you can see here, even though it looks rough hewn. But look at the size of this, and imagine it's the same height as it is the depth, I would imagine, going back. And we've already seen the other side of the wall, which suggests this is at least 30 feet wide. And it would probably, you know, the height of this compared to some of the lower levels does suggest this was an extremely high wall. And this is actually top part of it and it would go much further down let's continue along the western edge here all behind these olive trees look at this actually some of this has a polygonal quality to it the way it's shaped let's we'll continue look at this now i know you're thinking 
why is this guy going on and on about just some big megalithic wall who cares you think but there's something quite profound about this firstly it's known that the romans never built with this kind of construction they had neat kind of ashlar masonry different types of masonry which you can see above this and so it proves that there was a major culture civilization who were constructing these all around europe around italy along the coast of italy greece uh, sicily obviously we've got things like places like malta we've got menorca and we've got other places now the thing is they shouldn't be here they, you know technically because they say that this was built by the iberian culture but who were the iberian culture because we know they built dolmens in north of barcelona and down in the southern part of uh, the Antequera and, and other places but really this is unique along the kind of east coast of Spain and it proves that there's this kind of civilization who are traveling the Mediterranean building these now Gary Billcliffe suggests this might be the Pelasgians who could have been you know an earlier form of the Phoenicians even the Canaanites because we know they built with Cyclopean masonry as well we see it in Israel as well for instance we see it in Lebanon so yeah, it's just fascinating to see it here in Spain. It really does, it's the way it's all placed. You can see the different colors there, the lower level is the megalithic. It really does seem like it's a platform, like a giant, huge megalithic platform with interior parts associated with it as well. So this fascinates me, this is like Lebanon. It's like what we saw in Van, in Van Castle in uh, Eastern Turkey as well. So we've got a few more blocks here, but these aren't as massive as the ones we've seen so far. A few big ones like this one. So we're heading down and we're going to be heading out to the opposite side of the town. But look, we've got some blocks just, this must be the interior walls. So we need to get around the other side of this wall. So we're on the opposite side of town to where the sea is basically. But we're still we've seen a few good examples here down here as well these aren't massive these aren't as big as the ones we've seen but still worth checking out pointing these out if you ever come here these ones look pretty damn big in the wall bottom of the oh here we go this is where so the lower you get these ones are kind of neat and tidy as well look absolutely gigantic so you can see those there See these here as well. And they get neater and tighter, tidier and smaller the higher you get. But yeah, we're starting to see more of the megaliths. So we've just come out of that doorway. And look at these. Absolutely huge. They seem to get bigger. And then we found another one of these. This is in, look at the size. You've got the giant sort of lintel side. This is why it's so similar to like a giant's tomb or something. Then it kind of appears to slope downwards, but it's all being blocked in, it's all mud. There's nothing there now, it's being blocked up. But this is insane. So we've, this is our third mega doorway we've seen. The first one on the opposite side of town, but still impressive nonetheless. It's a really fine example of the megalithic gateways that we find here at Tarragona. Uh, six of these in total, one of them is blocked up. But this one is a superb example with a giant lintel on top with stones going back. And just wanted to show you this in more detail now the sun's on it because everyone just, this is like ignored. This isn't advertised, this isn't promoted as like a megalithic cyclopean city. It's all Roman, they say. It's promoted as Roman. That's frustrating because it's the same principle in Italy, Greece, and other places. They always say it's the later cultures or the Romans that did it. But there's much more to this area than meets the eye. And you'll see as we look round. And it just continues and continues. Look at this block here. Oh my goodness. So we're now heading further up to the final part of town, but I think it's going to continue through this doorway into more of these amazing walls. So this just shows you a map of the northern part of 
Taraco or Tarragona and this is kind of where we are we're walking around here and see more and more of these walls and gates you can kind of see what it may have looked like we've just come through there we've seen the giant gateway and the walls and look it continues so they actually call this the mural the murals the passage archaeologica hola. oh hello where are you from england okay got more hidden in the bushes there there's a certain tower up here I want to look at but in the meantime you can see more walls because the tower is like constructed quite high up of the megalithic cyclopean stonework and I believe it's over here So we're just walking up kind of towards the tower. We've got like Roman kind of stonework there, columns. But still we have the Cyclopean construction dominating this entire town. It's just endless. It goes all the way up there to that tower. Even the tower itself is partly built of these Cyclopean blocks. So here we have another gateway but it's been blocked up. So there's actually was once a gateway just here. You can see the Cyclopean blocks on that side, Cyclopean blocks where it's all yellow and kind of rubble. That is actually originally one of the gateways that we've been looking at. So they say it's Roman, but I believe it's obviously much older. What's really interesting here is we've got this false gateway. It's got filled up in Roman times, but you can see how high the wall goes here. So that's all the way down here. We're going to see it behind these trees that the gate, the wall is much higher and it goes to a much higher level. So that could be proof that the stones may have been even taken down and used by the Romans. Yeah, you can see how high, look how high the uh, stonework is there. Let's see, that's much taller. So this is like, they call this the first phase of the Roman wall. But really, you can clearly see this is not Roman. And they say it was Gnaeus Scipio marched into uh, the town 218 BC and created this military base on top of the hill. Um, and this is like the Minerva Tower we're going to look at in a moment is part of that. But clearly, this was here before any of that kind of period. And they probably just built on top of the constructions that were already evident in the town at the time, which is pretty basic stuff. But this is the Minerva Tower. You can see that there. Again, the masonry continues into that as well. And this is what I wanted to get to, as I understand there's yet another doorway here, which I wanted to check out before we start heading back to the apartment. Wow, look at that, that is incredible. So you've got the megalithic wall at the base and then it turns into the basic masonry above. Like we find all across this town and at many of these sites in the Mediterranean. Unbelievable, just amazing to see this. So they were building towers amongst other things. And it doesn't end there, look. Here's the other doorway. So we saw a blocked doorway just around the corner. And look at this, look at that. So we've got the doorway, they completely blocked it up with metal. But here you have it. So we found the doorway at the Minerva Tower, which has been completely blocked up. But look at the, <laughs> the size of that mega lintel up there. Can't even see the end of it properly. And then you've got the giant blocks next to it coming down this side. And on this side as well. Absolutely impressive and amazing. So it's claimed that the second phase of the Roman wall is just above it there, it was between 150 and 100 BC. Uh, and this extended as far as the port down by the sea. Um, and this was built with a megalithic plinth between two and three meters high. 
and above the body of the ashlar is up to a height of 12 meters so we're talking like 38 feet something like that but yeah we have six gates so we've seen like four of the gates all the way around the edge some of them are filled in some of them are no, we've seen five including the one that's filled in and this one here and maybe there's more let's keep looking around so amazing to see this it just doesn't stop so i'm just i'm just gonna keep filming and show you as much as i possibly can because it's good to get a full sense of the scale and actually here we have what looks like a hole kind of carved out of the rock that's very interesting much like we see at some of the sites in italy so whether that's a later addition or something else we're not sure but that's part of a stone that big so we've just come from down there and we're heading up really to the final section of this kind of northwestern part of the site got cannons up there to our left obviously not roman or megalithic but yeah more that's a really protruding block there look at that and it goes all the way around there we go even like polygonal masonry kind of examples in some of this this old illustration by A.D. Ladord in 1806 and it shows you what it looked like this is called the uh, Cabiscol or Seminary Tower we have this mighty megalithic tower built of the same type of construction same gigantic look and it just continues actually this is kind of getting a bit much look all the way around look at that look at the size of that block on the corner my goodness that is incredible and it goes all the way up here and guess what we've met a new friend So we're going through this sort of modern type tower and guess what yet more megaliths everywhere it's like this is just something else modern doorway there and <laughs> cannot believe how much stone there is here this cyclopean construction is just insane now we're back round to the part which we couldn't come in earlier that's where so we've been all the way around town now that's where we tried to come earlier the west sort of north part of town we were looking through the gate at this going why can't we go in there but we came in another way so just in here is a, just a kind of modern gateway but it's interesting that you can see the depth of the wall so we're looking at like from all the way out here we are looking at like 30 feet on average the 30 feet depth wall and then you've got the sheer magnitude of the height and the, the way it goes around town i mean no wonder they think it was built by cyclops or giants i mean you can't imagine how they could have done this so I'm, we're really focusing not on the roman not on any other parts of the site just the cyclopean megalithic architecture here and even that's taken up a whole day so this is the sixth gate we've seen the final gate here at tarragona or ancient Tarraco, which clearly is a very ancient site and goes back to the bronze age even the neolithic age the megalithic uh, structures here are just incredible it's like a giant wall surrounding an entire town with now with towers built of these cyclopean blocks or even platforms like we find on lake van and van castle or baalbek in lebanon but this is actually an entrance you can kind of go in they're not probably not supposed to but we're going to have a little look anyway so we're actually inside it now so they blocked it off obviously but look we're like looking outwards from it now this is incredible it really is quite something i mean considering it's being blocked off and you can't go any further it looks like it slopes down as well so and we know there are underground features here at tarragona or Taraco, and so this could well be one of the entrances into this under underground area 
So here we are right inside this megalithic entranceway at Taraco or Tarragona and they blocked it off obviously here but this would have gone right into the structure possibly down into the earth but it's just like being in like West Kennet Long Barrow or a giant's tomb in Sardinia it's incredible it's surrounded by these gigantic blocks and it feels really good in here the entrance is perfectly north or just a couple of degrees off north possibly and it is just a remarkable experience to see six of these gates one of them's blocked up the other ones are all kind of closed but you can see inside them was this one you can kind of come inside they put a little fence there but that's it but yeah so i hope you enjoyed looking inside this particular one of the six that surround this huge town built of megaliths at the foundation level although as we see in this area here they climb higher the walls do in certain parts of town suggesting there may have been more of this cyclopean construction surrounding the town and it got kind of taken away used for other buildings but for now it's a real treat to be here and i hope you've enjoyed our little look around